Greetings folks, I have this uh, pretty amazing FR Sky pilot flight control board to test out so I, I need a, a suitable airframe to test it out on so I thought I'd use the uh, Volantex Trainstar Ascent which is a, a good um, sort of rugged basic airframe uh, for testing things I think. I've had to do some mods, I've had to open up the, the top hatch here so I've got access uh, had really poor access inside for some reason. Um, but what I'm going to do is add some flaps to the train star ascent because we've got perfect area there for flaps. So um, in this video, I'll show you how to add flaps to a plane that doesn't actually have them. First up, I'm just sort of measuring out a suitable size for the flaps uh, and I'm kind of going to make it into a short takeoff landing style plane. So. Um, uh, nice big flaps, uh, 50 millimetres by 20 millimetres is going to be the size. Just have to decide whether I want top hinge or bottom hinge. Top hinge will give you a, a nicer um, airflow over the top when the flaps are not being used. Bottom hinge will allow more angle on the flaps, so um, have to decide which I'll use. I won't use the flaps all that often, so it's probably better to have a top hinge, keep it nice and smooth on the top. So, here we go. That's 3M Blenderm tape. Nice wide stuff. Now the way I like to set up flap servos is to have the resting position sort of fully back like that and then you've got all that travel to pull the flaps down. Don't need the flaps going up at all. So, so we put the servo arm so that it's not, it's, it's all the way back but it's not uh, straining on anything and you've got enough travel to move like that. 
and then the length of the push rod for the flap uh, just has to go to there. Got it in the bottom hole here. It's a big control horn, uh, but I just want it for its strength really, rather than its size. I can clip off most of that. But that now gives me sort of full throw for the flaps. Like that, with a bit of adjustment on the clevis there. So I'll put in the Z bend there. So I've marked where I want it to go through the hole. I'll just give it a bit of extra length there. Get my Z bends. And that this V here lines up with where you want it to go through the hole. There we go. Clip off a bit more. There we go. Could even get a little bit more throw if I go to the outer hole on the servo arm. Okay, we're pretty good. Let's glue that in now. Now aileron servos usually go opposite directions, so you can put ailerons on a Y lead and they'll operate in opposite directions. Flaps you want to operate in the same direction, uh, so if you have the servos oriented in the same direction, like both pointing to the left or both pointing to the right, then you can use the flaps on a, on a Y lead, so I'll do that. There we go, a couple of flaps added in about an hour.